to welcome in associate head coach of BYU Women's new Soccer. Title, new title, look at that. New title, well-deserved coach. Congratulations on that. Thank and, you. Uh, man, we're excited about soccer. I'm sure you are too as well. Super excited. Excited for the season to start because that means camps are over. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> the camps are fun, but they are they are draining. Oh, so tiring. And, and you guys, I, I believe you have the most campers of any sport at BYU. Is that right? I, I don't know the numbers, but we do. Ha we have a lot of campers. Seven weeks of camps. Every camp is maxed out and waiting list to get in. So Jen mentioned. Uh, Jen Rockwood mentioned uh, on our July first show that uh, this was the most campers BYU's ever had, all camps combined, and that it's the most in the country. It, the sports camps yeah. do a great job here. The sports camp included. office is. I mean, it's year round, you know. And so they're building things up, preparing things. I don't know how they work with the schedules. We we have limited space. And our camps are packed, but we still we fit them in, bring them in. I said before the break that you it wouldn't surprise us at all if BYU is picked to win the Big 12 in year one. With everything you bring back, the great squad, and, and I know you're a newcomer mm -hmm. to the conference, but I think the respect is earned and deserved. And if you're not one, I think you're going to be number two. How do you feel about that idea moving into a new Power 5 conference? Oh, uh, it's... It's amazing. It's a little bit, it's humbling as well. I mean, people have a lot of respect for the program. Jen has built this tremendous program and year after year our athletes come out and perform. So to have that type of a, uh, you know, prediction or I don't know if it's prediction or it's a target, or whatever it might be, it, it, it's, it's great to have. The girls thrive under pressure. Jen sets us up with these incredible schedules pre-conference. Yeah. You know, obviously a conference is going to be great, but she sets us up with these great schedules and the girls, they handle it every year and it's exciting for them. They love the challenge and we just go forward, and just go play. Volleyball and soccer are very different in the recruiting game than football and men's basketball. Football and men's basketball cannot win purely on the I-15 corridor member of the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Soccer and volleyball though, that's sort of the model, right? You have Utah and California and, and some Nevada, Idaho and whatnot. Arizona. Arizona. Uh, Arizona. Yeah, for sure. what, what is it about soccer and, and I guess volleyball that you can sort of stick to that and you don't need to sort of recruit heavily from the portal in that way? Although you do tap into the portal. We do tap in every once in a while. But I don't know the culture uh, of those players. They are hardworking players. Um, and I'm not saying that they – that makes them special, but they come in with this work ethic. And so when we really push them, it's nothing new for them. That's been expected of them their whole lives. And so they thrive in that type of environment. And I think that uh, Jen does a great job of motivating and putting the right pieces in at the right time. And so it, it helps us be successful. Are there more uh, kids who are members of the church at a high level in soccer than you could possibly ever want? Oh, yeah. I think in men's basketball, uh, maybe that's uh, the numbers are less maybe in that sport or something. Uh, there, there are so many, and, and we see this at our camps. You know, we're, every week mm. we have you know, 10, 12 high-level players from high-level club teams across the country. They come in and we're like, okay, we're comparing apples to, you know, apples, to apples constantly. Mm -hmm. And then from week one to week four to week seven, it's like, oh, do you remember this girl from week one? We've got this girl here this week, and we've got some girls this week that are, you know, national national team players. And I, the the pool is deep. And even though even though our recruiting pool might be small, it's it's deep. It's it, it is interesting to me, sort of the difference there. You know, associate head coach from BYU women's soccer, Brent Anderson, is on the show. I've asked Jen this question before, but I'm interested to get your take as well. With having made your way into the College Cup. You got to that Final Four that was elusive for so many years. Mm -hmm. And then you win a game and get to the National Championship, go to the Sweet 16 last year. You bring back 11 players from that team. Yeah. What's the next step in the progression chart for BYU women's soccer? Well, always we're, we're striving for a National Championship. I mean, yes, we want to be successful in the conference and, and win a conference championship, but but the drive year after year is to get a national championship. And even then, then it's go back and get it again. So we, 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 we want to get there. Our girls are motivated by it. They talk about it. Um, it's, it's a goal year after year. Well, congratulations to you on, one, the job title.
Thanks. And pay the man already, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. BYU, BYU takes great care of all of us. So. And uh, when does camp start for your team? So July 31st, we have all of our meetings, NCAA you know, meetings, and uh -huh. sign the papers and everything else, compliance. And then August 1st, we're on the field. We wow. start at uh, 9 a.m. and go from there. You and football, same days. Let's, Let's go. go. And you're yeah. the first team to host a Big 12 game. TCU, Let's go. TCU. September 14th. 14th. Yeah. Let's go, Who, baby. TCU has been top of the conference. So this is a great matchup. That's, yep, that's quite a, a, that's quite a, a way to start it. Yep. <laughs> Coach, thanks for the time. Thanks Great to have you in here. Thanks for having me.